What if we are able to build an exact eBay clone in probably less than 10 minutes? And that's basically what I'm going to attempt in this video. Replate is an online platform, a cloud-based platform, which allows you to interact with it so that it can build you apps, websites, and whatever you want. Replit is part of what we call this vibe coding re re revolution, not resolution, wherein, you know, anybody can practically build anything just by talking to the AI agent. So, like I said, Replit is already running in the cloud. All you need to do is sign up, get a free account, and you just need to tell Replit what you want. It can be a website, it can be a fitness tracking app, it can be a map, whatever you want, and it will build it for you. So in this video, let's try to build an eBay clone because we are all familiar with what eBay is. And let's see how easy it is to get started with uh, Replit and, and get this entire prototype and then take it forward. Now, Replit is not just an AI tool. It can do much more. So what I re request all of you is to explore Replit, see what you can build today with Replit. And let's begin the session. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to have an account with Replit. So just go to any search engine and just type Replit and you should see the Replit.com. So if you click on this, uh, this is what you basically see. So this is Replit, right? And, and you can see on the top, right, there is a login slash sign up. Now, I already created an account and it is absolutely free. There is a free plan. You can do that. Uh, so let me just log in. I'm going to click on login. And I should be able to log in with my Google credentials. So you can use any email or Gmail credentials or whatever that works for you. And I'm just going to click on continue with Google. And uh, let me sign in with my Google account. And let's see what happens. And it should take me to my home page in Replit. Okay, so this is how it looks like. It says, hey, Raghu, what do you want to make? Now, you can just type what you want here. For example, a website, an app idea, or whatever you want. And we are trying to build an eBay clone, right? So let me paste something here. I'm going to basically say that, okay, let me remove this. Uh, please build an eBay clone with the following details. So I want Replit to create a full stack eBay style marketplace that will mimic eBay and you can add whatever features you want. For example, here I'm keeping it very minimal. I'm just saying that we need user authentication like registration and password reset. We need some product listings and categories. We need the search functionality. We need some additional pages like help and contact us. And then I'm also asking Replit to populate with some sample data, let's say five to 10 products in each category with images and all. And then you can also add the UI requirement. For example, I'm looking for a responsive design. You know, I need a clean product listing. Search bar is always accessible. And just hit start building. Let's see what it does. So the moment it does, I mean, the moment you give the instruction what Replit does, the Replit agent, it thinks. So it thinks and understands your message. And now it says, okay, I'll help you to plan an eBay style marketplace for you, right? And what I really like about Replit, and this is the agent version two, is that they give you this, this kind of like a preview before actually building the application. So here is the a plan that it has come up with. So it basically says that I have built the initial prototype. I mean, nothing has been built so far. And it is asking like, do you really want any of these additional features? Like you want PostgreSQL database integration, real-time bidding, payment processing, advanced search, well, we can have all those, but, but you know, my intention is just to show you a demo. And what we can do is we can just hit approve the plan and start. And now look at the right hand side. It'll give you this sort of like nice preview. So I, I really like it. I mean, this is not exactly, you know, building your app or anything. It is just a preview. It's a visual preview of your app. But I like it. It looks cool. And, you know, see eBay clone. Look at the font. I mean, it is pretty similar to <laughs> eBay, I should say. And, and see what comes. I mean, sell, watch list and, you know, notifications and cart. So you get this nice preview on the right hand side. And let's wait for the preview to finish. 
and look at this it has built you know a, a fascinating prototype i mean like i said it is just a visual preview but look at this thing you know it, it look exactly like an ebay there is a sale feature products categories you have watch list ad shop by category recently added <laughs> daily deals even the uh, footers and all like like look like very realistic so now it has built this on the left hand side you can see that it has created a checkpoint so whenever it reaches a particular stage it creates a checkpoint and now you can see it starts building these files schema.ts storage.ts so it actually starts working and the way Ruplet does this is step by step for example it does something and ask you to check it uh, ask you to verify it for example it might have created the login page and then it'll ask you okay can you try the login page so now it continues building the app and you don't have to do anything. You can just grab a cup of coffee and sit back and relax. Okay, I want to show you something. See, it just took a screenshot. See, it created the application and it started launching it, but there was some error. Can you see on the right hand side, there was an error. It took a screenshot, literally took a screenshot. And look at the left hand side. It has created all these files which are required for our eBay clone, right? All these files you can see. And then it has installed these dependencies and it was trying to start and then you know the error came and now it says now I can see the error it looks like there is an issue with the query client uh, provider in the application so it is gonna examine the uh, error it's gonna find the issue it says I found the issue and then it's gonna fix it so you don't have to do anything it creates the a clone runs it if there is an error it takes a screenshot it fixes it and then it continues so let's wait for the application to build and let's see what it does next you can also see another interesting thing if you look at the right hand side it says it just opened a file it edited a file so it's trying to find out the issue it's trying to correct and it is opening files editing them again running them and on the left hand side, you can see a detailed description of what it is doing. Now, you don't have to know this. I mean, like it's, 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 it's like not mandatory that you should know all this. I mean, obviously, if you know all this, then why should you come to Replit, right? But but see, if you if you are somebody who with a lot of tech experience, then you will exactly know what's happening. And if you are somebody with very bare minimum experience, you don't have to do anything. But on a high level, you will see errors are coming and it is fixing it and then moving on. And now you see it relaunched the app. It took a screenshot and now it says, okay, things are looking clean. And if you look at the left hand side, it says I have fixed the authentication issue and everything is working now. The app is now properly loading data from the back end. What would you like me to work on next? So you can see here, you know, the app is working. I mean, this is an interactive web page, right? So. Uh, you can see that it has come up with the basic stuff, right? And it says we recommend opening a new tab to test authentication and cookie related features. Let's open a new tab. And let me zoom in here. Zoom in. And then zoom in. And you can see it has sort of like partially created it. And let's go back here. Okay, I can see the page but the images are not loading also complete the remaining uh, remaining parts and let us finish the site so i'm just gonna hit enter and let's see what it says uh, so the images are not proper let's see what it will try to fix it and also we want this to be over right i mean like we want the complete uh, ebay clone right so now it is just going through the uh, message but but you can see it's pretty neat i mean it has come up with a basic layout and let's wait for the agent to come back and you know understand our message and fix it all right so it took some time for it to you know replace the images and did some style changes and i also asked it to change it to bit bay instead of <laughs> ebay clone and now it has completed it went through all these messages and now it says the ebay clone is now running you can browse all available products and it also created a login we have a username demo and password password one two three 
you can view product details and bid history navigate through different categories all this is available right now so let's test this as well and you can always ask about the application for example i just asked okay how do i test this so it basically says in order to access the application you can click on the web preview button which is this if you click on this you will be able to get a preview so i'm going to click on this and uh, okay so the app is currently not running it is uh, you know so let me click on run and we should be able to get started and now if i go to this web view the app will be running and i'll be able to see a preview of my ebay clone and and this is the clone and on the left hand side it says uh, if you want to log in there is a username and password so i just set this username and password demo and password one two three and let's open this in a new tab i'm going to click on new tab and let me open this and maybe i zoom in a bit view zoom in yep so now our ebay clone is ready and look at this right so it has all these categories electronics fashion entertainment i can click on electronics and these are all the items like apple macbook sony playstation etc etc and then i can go back and i can search for any other things for example sports and so right now these are dummy images so that is why everything is dummy we can actually add them so that is why if i click on anything everything pops up the same uh, but interestingly i can scroll down and these are my dummy images for ebay and then we have all these details about the company and the pages and whatnot and then there is a login so if i go back to replit the username is demo and it is password one two three so i can click on sign in and the username is demo and what's the password <laughs> password one two three okay so password one two three and i can just click on sign in and see now i have logged in so this is my account i can go to my account and you can see these are my items i added i can sign out there is edit profile uh, i have my bits but as of now i have not enabled this uh, settings i have not enabled this i can edit my profile if i want you know so my listing my bits watch list account details email everything is actually created right and i can go back to home so i just wanted to show you like a very basic demo i mean you can build a complete what you say uh, end to end uh, 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 what you say ebay clone exactly like a full stack application but uh, i don't want to do that you can try that and i request you to try it on your behalf and now this is our ebay clone and we built it from within Ruplet with easy with few just interactive commands not even commands we just typed in English what we want all I did was I asked for it I changed the name and then asked it for a login and everything was created right so I also request you to try and build something using Ruplet today I hope you really enjoyed building an eBay clone and check out our entire playlist which is talking about generative AI for IT professionals so we have some really cool videos just like this where we are building websites and talking about generative AI apps and whatnot. And consider subscribing to the ITVersity YouTube channel so that you will be getting engaged with regular tech content in the arena of generative AI, data engineering and much more. We come up with content like this on a regular basis. Also like the video, share it with your friends and pour in your valuable comments. This is Raghu signing off and I will see you with another brand new video next time. Bye-bye.